UC Berkeley is a mecca for research on the control of behavior. We have a number of experts here who are interested in prefrontal cortex and its interactions with other parts of the brain. And people here are studying prefrontal cortex in children, uh, young adults, and older adults, as well as a number of patient groups. So this couldn't be the better time or place to be doing this research. What got me interested in neuroscience is discussions with my father, who's a philosopher of science. And he talked to me about the mind-body problem, which is how is it that a mushy ball of cells can produce something as wonderful as the mind with our hopes and feelings and ability to carry out dreams and goals. The very front of the brain, or prefrontal cortex, matures quite late over childhood and adolescence. And it's of great interest to try to understand how this region changes over development and how it contributes to our ability to control our thoughts and actions. So the two answers that would be correct is if you have shape, shape, or... In one large study that we have, we're looking at children aged 6 to 18 and how their ability to reason about novel problems changes over development. What we do is we have subjects lie down in the scanner and we project images or sounds and we have them respond to questions that we ask them by pressing one of several buttons. Children come in at several time points and we measure their behavior and their brain structure and brain function and we see which of those factors best predict long-term outcomes in terms of achievement in school. What we show are the regions of the brain that are changing with age from ages 6 to 13. We're seeing an increase in activation in these regions when children are playing the analogical game. And in particular, we're interested in the anterior prefrontal cortex here, which we think is really particularly involved in higher level cognition. So this last one is a bit tricky. Um, one exciting new difference that we found between children and adults is that okay. children activate the part of the brain that's important for solving problems so too late. Essentially they're already pressing a button before having completely thought about the problem. One of the things that our lab is trying to do is to train children to think carefully before responding, think before acting, uh, and see whether we can show improvements in reasoning ability. There's a debate about how much children or adolescents should be held responsible for a behavior. So for example, a child who commits a, a crime at the age of 16, is that a child who should be treated as an adult and put in prison for life, or is it a child who still has a potential for remediation and still should be considered a child in the eyes of the law? And so maybe uh, this research on the developing brain can help us eventually modify laws to take into consideration the fact that the brain is still changing quite a bit throughout our early 20s.